Hey, good morning. It is Tiny Shark Tuesday, and let's go. So, first question is from Ginger. Good morning, Ginger. Um, hi, Dr. Ben. The kids and I would like to visit our favorite out-of-the-way outdoor destination. Sounds nice. Yeah. But it requires an overnight. I saw a chart recently that rated the hotel as 3 out of 10 in risk, uh, about the same as grocery shopping. Yeah, because mostly when you're in your room, you're on your own, right? Yeah, so it's like being in your house. Surface contamination is not as big a concern, although if you bring some wipes with you, you can wipe down those surfaces and then, yeah, got an extra layer of security. Um, uh, let's see. So would you agree? I'm hoping you can give some insight on the risks of staying in a hotel room and how best to prepare when staying in one before I make the decision on going. Yeah, this is what I'm doing right now to be able to stay in College Station. I'm, uh, I'm staying for a week in a hotel room. If you're more than one night, um, you can just make your own bed and request that uh, you know they leave some towels at the door if you need new towels, or just you know hang them on the rack and dry them out, like at home. Um, that works. Yeah, you can bring wipes and wipe down surfaces if yeah if that worries you, or else it's probably fine uh, even if you don't. The big risks are going to be breakfast. The hotels that I have seen lately, I've seen three of them uh, since the lockdown started. All of them have suspended breakfast and suspended drinks in some form. I think one of them still had um, the machine up where you could get your own coffee, but uh, uh, one other one, they've put that behind the counter, and the third one, they've just turned it off and said, no coffee for you. <laughs> so um, it's this interaction with another person. That's what's potentially going to get you or taking your mask off to put something in your mouth that's potentially what's going to get you uh yeah restaurants are more dangerous than people think uh, i would say I, I would put those much higher than three out of ten on a risk i'm not sure um, um what that scale that you've got uh, would have said about them but yeah follow those precautions and it is uh quite possible i would say to go to a hotel safely um, you can do, you can, you're going to have to go up to the desk. So you're going to make sure you wear a mask when you go up to the desk, because I have also noticed that some hotels do have their staff wearing masks and other hotels do not like as maybe a friendliness thing. And some of them have those, uh, little plexiglass things, which, which are not, they, they don't do what people think <laughs> they're supposed to do, uh, most likely. So yeah, go prepared. Just send one, yeah, one volunteer up to actually uh, run the credit card through. And then uh, everybody else, yeah, just go up. Um, you can use the stairs rather than the elevator if you like, uh, or just send one person up on the elevator with the uh, suitcases. And then once you're in the room, you are essentially fine. Yeah. And uh, maybe you, you order in or maybe you send somebody out to get some food. But uh, either way, uh, I think you're covered. And I think it ends up being a pretty low risk um, thing to do when you do it that way. Now, if you go in without a mask and you hang out with people and you go splash around the pool with a bunch of other people, then all these things add dramatically to the risk and uh, potentially make it bad. But uh, yeah. Generally, as long as it's just your family in a place, indoors or outdoors, you're, you're probably all right because you guys are all sharing the same germs anyway. And uh, just have a mask on at any other time, and then you're good. All right. Good question. I hope you have a lovely vacation. It sounds nice. Don't tell me where it is because otherwise I'll go there, and then it won't be uh, whatever uh, uh, out of the way or whatever you said. <laughs> Thanks very much. This has been Ask Dr. Ben.